video for you all since my Christmas wishlist video which is almost on a hundred K views right now how crazy is that oh my gosh thank you guys you've all been requesting to see my own Christmas wishlist so before I show you my Christmas wishlist 2019 I just wanted to say what I'm wearing so first of all I'm wearing this onesie and it's literally one of my favorites right now it has a really cute white fluffy furry sherpa type of hood and then it has two little white pom-poms and then it has rose gold hearts everywhere and i did actually get this last year but i'm pretty sure you can still buy it but it's from tesco and it's honestly such a comfy onesie and i'm also wearing some fluffy socks from primark as well so before we start getting to your onesies, Christmas pyjamas or just comfy clothes, grab some popcorn or a hot chocolate and let's just get started. I'm just going to be doing a quick little disclaimer as I don't want anyone to be like upset by this video in any way. Everyone's wish lists are going to be very different um, depending on your family and that's perfectly fine. For me, I like to put quite a few different ideas on for A, different people around my family but B, so that I really don't know what I'm going to be getting, so it's a complete surprise to me because there's lots of things on there compared to if there was a small amount of things because I might know more what I'm going to be getting. So I personally just like to give people lots of ideas and then just be really surprised about what I'm going to get. So this may be a short wish list compared to you guys or it might be a long wish list. I don't really know, but yeah, I'm going to tell you what is on my wish list now. Okay, so the first thing that is on my Christmas list is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. And I've put that it's from John Lewis because they were having like a price match discount thing. I really love this palette. It's like one of my favourite palettes that's like so me. This palette is absolutely stunning and it's like a Christmas edition. You can only get it at Christmas time so it's perfect for another person's Christmas gift and I honestly love the colours in this palette so much and I think I'll use it a lot like I'm not just getting it because it's new I genuinely think I will love and use every colour in this palette and I think I'll get a lot of usage out of it and I'm in need of a new palette I haven't gotten one in a long time so I decided to put that one on my Christmas wish list Okay, so the next thing on my Christmas wish list is actually something that I've been looking for for such a long time. And when I was shopping with my mum, I found one that I really loved. And that is a faux fur coat or like a teddy coat. I've honestly been looking for one of these for about a year since last autumn time. And I finally found one that I actually really love. And it's just a faux fur coat. And it was this creamy white one from Topshop. And I absolutely love it and it felt and fitted so nicely so i put that on my christmas wish list because i wanted like a little warm comfy jacket that i could wear the next thing that is on my christmas list is a black champion t-shirt now i've seen this on top shop on sale i'm not sure if it still is right now but it was like seven pounds fifty cheaper i think it was on for 22.50 and i've wanted a champion t-shirt for a really long time and i love the black one so that is on my christmas wish list and along the theme of clothing i've also asked for a like a warm puffer coat with a fur lined hood because I've only got really one coat which is my pretty little thin one and it now no longer zips up and it doesn't have like a warm hood it just has one that you can like unzip from the hooded part and then just put on if it rains so I've asked for like a more warm snuggly coat the next thing that is on my Christmas wish list, I have had my eye on for such a long time now. I've been trying to find a bag which I absolutely love. And as soon as I saw this one, I was instantly like, oh my gosh, I actually love this bag. Like, it, it's just so me and it's exactly what I wanted in, in a bag. And when I went shopping, I saw it and like I held it and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect bag. And I absolutely love it. And I know that I would use it every time I go out to keep like my purse, my phone, all the stuff that I would usually just stuff into my pockets and I thought that now that I'm getting a bit older I've got more stuff which I want to carry when I'm going shopping and I just thought that asking for a nice handbag is quite practical as well so that was from River Island and then I also put a few bits on my Christmas wish for like the gym side of clothing so like I would really like some gym leggings for Christmas whether it be the two for £24 deal on Fabletics 
or Gymshark. I saw some really nice ones from there. I would just really like some of those and I know that I would use them a lot for like a cheer and for just like the workouts that I do at home. And then also on there I thought of like a Nike sports bra or maybe a Gymshark one or maybe even a Calvin Klein black one. And then if you don't already know, I do cheerleading and I've done it for a little while now and a lot of people have cheer shoes from this brand called Nafinity but I don't have any chair shoes and I've just been wearing white trainers and I've had my eye on some Nafinity chair shoes for a really long time. So these are sort of on my Christmas wish list, but then I also may buy them for myself as like a little treat because it's the start of the season. I actually have a competition tomorrow, which I'm gonna be vlogging and I'll just be able to wear them for like the whole season and I'll really make good use out of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna move back onto skincare and makeup. So since I went to Dubai this year in summer, I've also always had my eye on the Fenty Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss in the shade Fussy and this will probably be on sale on Black Friday so I would advise if you're buying Christmas presents to just check out all the things that are on your Christmas wish list on Black Friday because there'll probably be a deal on almost everything and I tried it on in the shop and I instantly just loved the colour, I loved the consistency and the glossiness and I really wanted to try something out from Rihanna's Fenty brand. So yeah, that is on my Christmas wish list. And then I'm also asking for the Too Faced Sweet Peach lip gloss in Pure Peach. And I also put this as from John Lewis because they had a price match sale. Again, I'm not sure if they still have it, but there was like five pounds taken off it, which was a really, really good deal. And then I've also asked for a, another lip gloss, just a cheaper one from NYX, the NYX Butter Lip Gloss in tiramisu and it is five pounds fifty and then for some smaller little gifts like maybe a stocking stuffer a, a stocking like maybe a stocking stuffer that's actually really hard to say um i've put on comexes like some of the more unusual flavors like the pineapple and mint one and the peach and mango one i'm desperate to try these ones oh my gosh and they're both just under two pounds each and then when i was looking through super drug and when i've also been shopping in store i've seen like the revolution x roxaurus products which i hadn't really seen before and i instantly fell in love with their eyeshadow palette and their contour palette so i just popped both of those on my list but those just look so so pretty and i would love to use them in a youtube video like maybe a first impressions or something like that and then finally for like the makeup section i put on a bh cosmetics makeup brush set from pretty little thing because i looked at them on beauty bay and they were all sold out so i think they're probably really good or like a lot of people have bought them for christmas presents so then i looked on pretty little thing and they still had them on pretty little thing so i've asked for that makeup brush set i'm pretty sure it's like a marble set or like something cute i'll insert the picture and then moving on to skincare i put a few little bits for example the glossier milky jelly cleanser i've had my eye on this for a while and it looks really really nice and i'm in need of a new cleanser and then the next thing i've always really seen but never really gone and actually got one for myself before but it is a mario badescu facial spray so i actually didn't really know which one to get because i know probably the rose water one is most popular but then in store i actually tried out the lavender one and that was really nice and then i was really torn between them both and then i was looking online and you can actually get three minis in a set which i thought was a really good gift idea for i think 17 pounds when usually each full size one is about 13 and i thought because you've got three minis you will not go through them as quickly so i thought that would be a really good idea to like see which one is my favourite and then possibly repurchase that one again in the future if I really loved it. And then also on my list for skincare is the Pixie Fast Flash Facial Set and in it includes like a mini version of the Glow Tonic Peel and Polish and Rose Flash Balm. So I just thought I'd pop those on my Christmas list. So the next thing I also said in my 100 plus Christmas wish list video and that is an electric toothbrush. So I put on my list an Oral-B electric toothbrush because I was scrolling through Superdrug, you know, like you do. And I'm pretty sure it was going for like £24.98 or something like that. Reduced from like £49.50 or something crazy like that. Like it was half price. So I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to put that on my Christmas list because what a good opportunity. And not only that, but it also came with an Oral-B toothpaste. So if you're interested in looking for an electric toothbrush 
check out Superdrug because they had a deal on the one that I really liked. So the next set of things are kind of miscellaneous, I would say. So first of all, I was looking on Amazon and I found a frosty gingerbread Yankee candle, like a big one. And if you guys don't know, I didn't used to be allowed to light candles in my room, but now I'm allowed to. So I really wanted to get like a Yankee candle one because I've literally always wanted to light a Yankee candle in my bedroom. So I put on the frosty gingerbread one because I, I'm literally obsessed with gingerbread and like the smell of gingerbread is actually insane. And I'm also asking for the pastel pink tangle teaser that's like a sort of like more paddle shaped one. I've seen this for like a year. I'm pretty sure it was on my Christmas wish list last year maybe. Um, but it's just a really nice hairbrush and there are some really good reviews on it. And then I've also asked for a book. So I'm asking for the Story of Shannon Rose Part 2 book from Amazon. I really wanted to get her first book but now I'm pretty sure she's brought out a second book. So maybe I'll put that one on my list. I'm sort of just picking between them both like which one I would like to put on my list. And then just as some other little ideas, I put on a laptop case so maybe like a marble one or like a blush pink one. And then also on my list is the Black Ultimate Oversized Hoodie from PLT and this is originally £18, but I'm sure they do like a 60% off on Black Friday. So you'd be able to get that for really cheap, I think. And if not the black one, I also really love the white one as well. That one's so, so nice. And then I also just popped on my list a Victoria's Secret body mist. There's so many different ones. Um, I'm really not that fussed, but they all smell really, really nice. And I've always wanted one of their body sprays. And then finally, I'm still debating whether I want to put this on my list or not, just because I've heard some mixed opinions on them. And those are the Victoria's Secret Satin Pyjamas. I've been thinking about them for quite a while, and I know that they're quite expensive pyjamas. So I want to make sure I'm making the right decision on those, on whether to put them on my list or not. So if you guys have any of the Victoria's Secret satin pyjamas, please comment down your opinions down below. Help me out, I really don't know. So let me know on your thoughts about that. If you enjoyed this video, please smash it a big thumbs up. I know you guys have been waiting for this one for a couple of weeks now. So today's shout out goes to Caitlin Rose. She said that she subscribed and she's turned on her notifications and she also put a really sweet comment after that. So thank you so much, Caitlin. And if you want to be the next shout out in my upcoming video, all you need to do is be subscribed and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I next upload and comment down below when you've done it, something like I've subscribed and my notification bell is on. And it would also be great if you could go ahead and follow my Instagram, it is at JessicaAbbeyXO. Thank you all so, so much for watching and if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.